our coil, uh, which is static, uh, was wanting to move when you switch these currents on and off. And uh, so that was a, uh, a major problem. But the second problem was that once the coils moved, they generated noise. And, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about maybe a micron of movement, but um, it's enough on a whole gradient coil system to create enormous noise which can exceed 130 decibels. <clears throat> now, there is legislation at the moment which limits the noise in the workplace uh, from normal machinery and so on to about 95 decibels. So anything above that actually is illegal. And uh, so there is a major move at the moment to try to reduce the acoustic noise. Now, I started on the acoustic noise problem uh, in the year, uh, or maybe a year before I retired. And I retired in 1994. So I've been working on it now, if you to tote it up, um, probably, um, what, eight and, well, uh, 14 years. And we came up with, uh, in the early days, you know, in the um, late uh, last century, we came up with an idea which would solve the, or we thought would solve the acoustic problem. And um, it does reduce the sound level very considerably, but it doesn't solve the problem completely. And, but nevertheless, uh, we're able to get uh, in a small core system that we made very recently. Uh, this was made um, by my son-in-law, uh, Dr. Haywood, and uh, he, he, he made a small imaging coil and we produced a, a fast image in the three Tesla magnet uh, with acoustic noise control. And so we were able to get the noise level down to about 40 decibels, uh, 